What we saw in Ramadi last month was deeply disappointing and illustrated the importance of a capable and motivated Iraqi ground force. In the days that followed, all of us on the President's national security team, at his direction, took another hard look at our campaign across all nine lines of effort. At DOD, I convened my team before, during, and after my trip to the Asia Pacific and Indian Ocean region to examine our execution of DOD's lines of effort and prepare options for the President if his approval was required for any enhancements we identified. In our meetings at both the White House and the Pentagon, we determined that while we have the right strategic framework, execution of the campaign can and should be strengthened, especially on the ground. We determined that our training efforts could be enhanced and thus are now focusing on increasing participation in and throughput of our training efforts, working closely with the Iraqi government and stressing the focus on drawing in Sunni forces, which, as noted, are underrepresented in the Iraqi security security forces today. We also determined that our equipping of the Iraqi security forces had proceeded too slowly. This process was earlier sometimes delayed by bureaucracy in Baghdad, but also in Washington. That's why we're now expediting delivery of essential equipment and material like anti-tank capabilities and counter-IED equipment to the Iraqi security forces, including Kurdish and Sunni tribal forces. We also determined that we could enable Iraqi security forces with more tailored advice and assistance, including with critical outreach to Sunni communities. That's why, on advice from Chairman Dempsey and General Austin, and my recommendation, last week President Obama authorized the deployment of 450 personnel to Iraq's Takata military base in Anbar province to establish an additional site where we could advise and assist the Iraqi security forces. Situated between Ramadi and Fallujah, Takatam is a key location for engaging Sunni tribes. And Prime Minister Abadi, Iraqi military officials, and Sunni leaders have all committed to using Takatam to reinvigorate and expedite the recruitment of Sunni fighters. Our forces will also provide much needed operational advice and planning support to the Iraqi Security Forces Anbar Operations Center, which is also located at Takatam. We expect that this move will open a new dimension in our and Iraq's efforts to recruit Sunnis into the fight and to help the Iraqis coordinate and plan the critical effort to roll back ISIL in Anbar province. And Secretary Kerry and I have agreed to begin a process of continually assessing the execution of our campaign, starting with improving coordination across our respective lines of effort.